What's up guys, it's a beautiful Saturday morning and we're getting out to the thrift. As if I don't already have enough stuff in my money pile right here, this box and that box and that box, those all have stuff in them to list, but it's not stopping me from hitting the thrift this morning. I'm about to jump in the thrift mobile and get out there and see what we can find. All right, jumping into the thrift store here. First things first, checking out the overly priced shoes way overpriced anywhere from nine dollars for the trash shoes to nineteen dollars for the mediocre shoes wandering on down the line came to the end cap where the ladies shoes are i normally find shoes here for 5.99 a piece i grabbed a few pairs and uh, this pair i don't know what that was it was a junk pair no name Got a pair of New Balance here. I'll throw some laces in those and put them on the interweb. This pair of foam posits, they wanted 19 bucks for no laces, no insoles, and trash. Got this pair of Reeboks right here. I did not realize when I was looking at them that they were vintage Reebok pumps. I did put a a comp here you can see the the cheaper one sold for 53 plus shipping and the higher priced one went for 110 free shipping win 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 found this pair of nike golf shoes um my wife will probably end up wearing those these uh those jordan 3 true blues were garbage and were overpriced so i threw them back the resell just wasn't there on those. Organizing my shoes and heading on down the lane. Found this pair of Rocket Dogs. Decided to pass on them because, I don't know, I have a pair similar to those and they just are not doing very well. The black and gray plaid Rocket Dogs do well. All right. Hopefully it'll free up some of your stuff there. Thank you. Got this incredible piece here. Guitar Hero guitar. Threw it in the basket. Had to check out the golf clubs, of course. Ended up picking up two, but I will show you those later. Bird clocks. This is a bolo for real. Uh, unfortunately, this one was broken on the back, but these bird clocks you could pick up for a few bucks and sell them for $30 to $40 every day of the week. Kept searching, found this classic car clock. Doing a little time lapse here, going through the shirts. A brass duck bookend missing its pair but uh, I just thought that was cool looking hesitant about what I'm to do next boom we're going this way let's go over here decided to check out the vintage sweaters and outerwear we locked it in headed home we're back from the thrift store today is the same day that I went to the bookstore to get back into sourcing books for Amazon it didn't turn out great the whole time i was thinking i wanted to be at the thrift store just thrifting cool things and so that's what i did after i left the bookstore i went to the thrift store and found way more profitable items than i did at the bookstore that's not to be said that there's not profit in books i just wasn't having a good time doing it and so my version of success is doing what i want and having fun how i want when i want where i want with whom i want and so uh here we are in the back of the thrift mobile uh, we are going to go through this stuff I'll just show you what I picked up and tell you what I paid for it today I had a frequent shopper coupon at Goodwill and so I got 20% off everything I'll tell you the original price and you can just subtract 20% from there I got this pair of Reebok pumps this is a youth size uh, I paid 550 for these and they're going for anywhere from 70 to 100 on eBay got this pair of Nike golf shoes these are going for about $40 on eBay this pair of New Balance phantom tape Kush. I uh, don't know what they're going for on eBay, but I've sold some of them recently. 25, 35 bucks plus shipping, easy. I paid 550 for those. A very nice pair of Sperry's canvas in the blue and sort of beige. Uh, paid 550, those go for 25, 35 bucks. Pair of A6 GT 2000s. Have no idea why these were still sitting on the shelf. Great tread on there, really solid pair. Uh, paid 550, easily get 35 bucks for those. Here's the pairs to those. We got this Guitar Hero guitar. This is the Fender Stratocaster. Um, no dongle for it. However, I still sell them easily without the dongle. 
uh, if people have a dongle, they compare it to this or uh, they just go buy a dongle. So I picked that up. That was, uh, that was $4.25, $4.25. And we can definitely pull some profit off that. Next, we got a couple scrubs tops. Um, I've sell these occasionally. I'll pick them up if I see good brands. This brand is Mary Englebright. Uh, this particular brand uh, goes for about $14 to $16. I paid $3.99 plus the 20% off. So about uh, 14 to 16 bucks plus shipping. Next, we have this Scrubs Top. This is a Peaches brand. It's a really good brand whenever you're looking at Scrubs. Also goes for 14 to $16 plus shipping. Paid $3.99 before the discount. Got this, this Merrill Select Wick shirt. This is an athletic shirt. It's Merrill, it's excellent condition. It's an extra small. Paid $3.99, they're going for $15, $16. We picked up this vintage Nautica, vintage Nautica spell out on the back of the neck there. Uh, fleece zip. Uh, this particular model in a different color was going for $35. We picked it up for $5.99 plus the discount. Picked up this classic car um, wall clock. Uh, never sold one of these, but I have friends that sell clocks similar to these, bird clocks and car clocks. And they say they do really well. They sell for about $30, $35 plus shipping. And we paid $325 before the discount. Another vintage item here. This is a vintage Old Navy fleece pullover. I found this exact one, the comp for it was $30. We paid $6.99 before the discount. Got this pair of Carhartt Carpenter pants. Really good pair of jeans here. This is the B13-DPS. I found this exact pair selling for 35 to 39 plus shipping. Uh, we paid 750 before the discount. I did get myself this pair of American Eagle jeans. These I paid $7.50 before the discount. I'm actually wearing the same exact pair today, just in a lighter color. Very comfortable jeans, very much the dad jean, very stretchy and, and comfortable and not tight. Uh, yeah, so I bought those for myself for $7.50 before the discount. Probably the winner of the day, as far as excitement goes, is this pair of vintage Levi orange tab in the gray, distressed. This pair has definitely been worn. You can, for sure, you can feel the, the difference in quality when it comes to the denim. Uh, this is a 70s, 80s, I believe, 70s, 80s, early 90s uh, pair of Levi's, and it's got the orange tab on there. I'll show you that right there. Uh, definitely a cool pair. Comps for these were in the $50 to $75 range for the gray distressed orange tab Levi's. Pumped about those. Two more things that we picked up today. Uh, I got this putter. I bought a putter for my kids. I'm trying to get them interested in golf. Uh, this was $3.25. It's a Wilson. It is a, that's it. It's just a putter, nothing special. Three bucks and 25 cents, no resale value. We just got it to get it. Then we picked up this Wilson Pro Staff Titanium Face, 10 and a half degree driver uh, paid three dollars and 25 cents for this before the discount and it is a solid 25 dollars plus shipping flip so i'm going to take this to the range today i'm going to clean it up take it out there uh, hit a few balls with it and then turn around and sell it and call it a day so that's what we got here today paid 70 dollars after the discount after everything was said and done and walked away with a few hundred bucks worth of profit very much a successful day in my book. I wanna say thank you to you guys for watching, especially those of you that watch all of my videos consistently. It really means a lot to me. If you found value in this video, if you liked this video, or if you saw anything in this video that you did like in terms of resale items, be sure to hit that like button. It helps the channel tremendously when it comes to the YouTube algorithm and promoting this video and videos like this to people like yourself. If you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. And as always, I will see you on the next video.